Hello, I'm Oz from Artdesk. In this short video, we're going to be moving from where we left off the quotation to how we then start to raise purchase orders and connect procurement into the actual project so we can better manage the financial information against every single project in the system. Now, all too often we're told about the manual processes of raising purchase orders, not having clear visibility of what purchases have been raised, not having visibility of what they need to be ordering, what has been ordered, and always having to cross-reference against previous purchase orders that have been raised. With Arcdesk and with our essential package, all of that is forgotten. What we're able to do is connect the estimation with procurement in an easy manner. So once we receive the complete acceptance against a quotation or an estimation we've been building, we can easily raise purchase orders from the system. So in Arcdesk, we connect the information together. So against the quote, procurement teams all just need to come into the financial button, click on create a purchase order, and start to create purchase orders from sections, for items, or for multiple materials. So in this particular instance, we're just going to create a purchase order for our complete section, which is for site setup. And as soon as I press the select button, that then allows me to create a purchase order. The great thing with Arcdesk, it always connects the information. So although I have gone into my purchase order, where I have already automatically been able to pick up all of the items that I need to raise against this PO, I can always refer back to the quote to the project or the quotation at any point so I can track the data against it. All we now need to do is go into our file and edit button and push this out to our supplier who conducts all of these particular materials or works for us. So I'll go into the edit button and it allows us to make changes to the purchase order when necessary. Most importantly, it allows us to connect to our supplier database. So within Arcdesk, we've put all of your contacts in the contacts area. So whenever we need to add a particular supplier to our PO, we can easily search for that particular supplier and add them into the purchase order. So in this instance, I'll quickly give the system a search. We'll pick up a supplier and add those details into the actual quotation. So what we're able to do here is not only connect your estimating team to your uh, purchase, purchasing team, but also allow ourselves to control the suppliers that we're going to be utilizing as well. Now, against every single purchase order, we can also add retention if we're working with a new supplier. And if we press the save button, once we go back to the, the details area of the purchase order that we've just raised, we also have the ability to distribute this out to our supplier. Now, before we do that, you can see we have an approval process that this particular purchase order has to go through before we can send it to our supplier. So I'd need to get procurement to approve everything and then move it across and then we can distribute it out. Once we're ready to distribute out, we just press the files button and we can send it out via an email through the actual platform. What this then allows us to do is include any attachments that we need to send to that particular supplier so that they can fulfill the order and make sure that we can then track the purchase order all through the process. Now, as soon as we start to receive materials, we can update the materials that we're receiving. So if it's a bulk PO, we can then manage material deliveries via valuations and only raise purchase invoices for when we need to be paying for the items that have been ordered. So if we were to jump ahead forward a step and we wanted to move into our purchase invoice process, all I then need to press is the financial button. So if you imagine that this particular PO has been completely fulfilled, we can then raise a purchase invoice for the relevant items that we need to raise it for. And at this level, we are able to then start connecting with your accounting platforms. The great thing with Arcdesk is when we connect to your accounting platforms, we have seamless integrations with QuickBooks and Xero, and we can always export data out of the system into Sage So if you are utilizing Sage and other platforms as well. Now, as we just let the system read the data and move into that purchase invoice process, you can see the data has been passed over to uh, the purchase invoice process, where it has automatically populated the data from the estimation, from the purchase order, from valuations, and into this particular area. And all we need to do now is align our account codes, hit the save button, and then we're able to distribute this out as a purchase invoice against that purchase order. The great thing here with Arcdesk is that everything again is connected. So if I press the view button, I can quickly find out who the supplier is, what purchase order it's related to, what quote it's related to, and ultimately what project it's related to. Making sure that you are never missing information, you have track of everything, and you can always refer back whenever you need to. If you want to dive into the system further, please click the link, request a demo, and we can do a more detailed explanation of how the system can benefit your strategies. Many thanks for joining me on this short video.